Hey, this is Jerry Dees from ReligionTeacher.com. If you come to a Catholic Mass or liturgy, you'll notice the priests or the deacons are wearing some interesting vestments or clothing during the, the prayers. <clears throat> the first one, which you can't see very well, but it's because it's under what their, their outer vestments, is called the alb. A-L-B. And it's an all-white garment as a, that calls back to the baptismal gowns that Christians wear after they're baptized. And it's a symbol for purity. That's why it's, it's white. The belt, which is a kind of a rope tie around the alb, is called a cincture. And this is a, a symbol for the, the vow of chastity, especially that the priests are making. Another symbol for that idea of purity, of girding the, the, the vestments. What you'll mostly see at a mass are the outer vestments, the for the priest, the chasuble, and for the deacon, the dalmatic. So this is the priest, this is the deacon. And the major difference you'll see is that the deacon ha has sleeves, and the priest is kind of more like a cape, just kind of drapes over top of their body without sleeves. And there are different colors in different times of the year. So you'll notice that, that the outer vestments that they're wearing are different depending on what day or time of year it is. Green is used during ordinary time and most times during the year. Red has, is used at a number of different feast days, um, <clears throat> including Holy Week, Good Friday, um, Martyrs' feast days, days in which this, we celebrate feast days of saints that have died or given up their lives. Or also on Pentecost for the fire, of course. This is, this is supposed to represent the white garments they often wear. Sometimes they appear to be gold on feasts like Christmas and Easter. And during those entire seasons of Easter, and, and as well as some other special feast days, they show this symbol of, of white on their vestments instead. Purple or violet used during Lent and Advent. And then pink just on two days of the year is actually a rose-colored vestment um, on Gaudete Sunday and Laetare Sunday, Gaudete Sunday during Advent, Laetare Sunday during Lent. So there are different colors to represent the feast that we celebrate on that day during the, the Mass. So they might change colors depending on the significance, the symbolism of what we're celebrating on that day or what saint we were commemorating on that day. In addition to the chasuble and the dalmatic that you'll see the priest and deacon wear, you'll also see them wear something called a stole. And this kind of looks like a scarf laid over top of their bodies. The, the priest is going to wear them kind of like this, draping across the front of their body. And the deacon is going to wear it like this, across their body this, as a sash with a little bit of a, a, a kind of a chain link connecting it together so it doesn't fall off. And essentially, the stole is a sign of authority. It shows that they're on official duty, if you will. Sometimes when you see a priest doing the sacrament of confession, they're not dressed in all of these vestments. They're just putting on the stole, and they'll kiss the cross in the corner or the top of the stole before they put it on, draping in front of their body, to show that, again, they are in a, a sacramental um, moment of duty, and that's why they're wearing that special vestment. So those are the main things that you'll see the priests and the deacons wearing, and they each have some significance. In particular, they help show to us what the priest is and deacon is leading us through in that particular moment of prayer. So go make disciples. God bless.